Good evening, Facebook. It's another edition of RE Superstars with your homeboy, Chad Levine, the superstar Lenda. As you can tell, we are back again in the twilight hours. I'm not going to lie, guys. I am kind of digging the late night show. It might become a normal thing. Uh, my show producer, Jason, struggling a little bit back there. Um, I don't know if he didn't eat enough food or whatnot, but he's a little miserable. Jay, I'm going to call you out on that, brah. I mean, come on. You got to bring the positive energy with me. That's how I like to do it. So I got to tell you, if my my uh, theme my theme song doesn't get you hyped up, this next guest will. This guy is on a freaking podcast parade going to everybody out there. Uh, it's like the talk of the town. He broke the internet. I don't know who got more views or who was more intriguing. It was the press conference for Anthony DeChico. Or was it when Kim Kardashian went naked in the paper magazine? Honestly, it's probably a tie at this point because I think everyone saw seen Kim Kardashian anyway. But that, I don't know where I'm getting this stuff from. Anyway, so I got to tell you guys, honestly, um, we got a lot to talk about. Uh, I usually like to waste a lot of airtime here and and talk a little jibber jabber, but I feel like I'm going to cover most of the stuff when I when I bring Anthony on. I. I don't know. I'm I'm just gonna stop. I'm just gonna cut it out. I'm gonna bring him right on. So Anthony DeChico, DeChico sells now out of KW Langhorn New Hope. What up, brother? What's up? What's up? Good. What's up, dude? Good evening. Good evening. Listen, I <laughs> swear to God, you were harder to get on this freaking show than Joe Biden himself, dude. Listen to me. <laughs> you know, I would say eleven o'clock, and then next thing you know, you got, I got bombarded. <laughs> then I get my brother. Oh, it's too late. It's too this. It's too that. Wake up. Let's, yeah. let's I know, Emilio. Team. Emilio, I'm I'm gonna call him out. Emilio, I'm a little disappointed. I was interested in having the both of you on. I really wanted to get a little deep into how you guys are gonna work together now and all that other jibber jabber. But dude, we got a lot to talk about. Like a lot. Like I don't even know if an hour is gonna cover it. And I, and I want to get a little racy. You know, uh, the majority of the people watching this are in our business, uh, you know, whether they like us or not. <laughs> they can act like they do, right? <laughs> Let's be totally honest. Oh, my God. So so let me get right into it. I, I'll give people a little bit of background, and I'll let you fill it in because I don't have all your facts. I'm not, I'm not going to lie. You have been in the business. What are you, two years? You're not even two years yet. Are you two well, years? Well, no, I've been in the business since 2009, right? Uh, I was always in the car business. I, I was, we owned car dealerships. So I usually did it for our, um, our investment properties. I would. Just oh, you were, oh, I didn't know you were licensed in zone nine. Oh, yeah. Right. yeah. Oh, so right. I went full time in 2019. So that's, oh, got it. Right. that's when I went just, you know, balls to the wall. So you've been three years hardcore going into the fourth. Correct. Got it. Okay. And you've been double digit millions, what, since year one? Year one, 15 million during COVID. Sick, dude. Yeah, absolutely sick. So I, um, and I'm going to break that all down for people that don't, I mean, people, most of the people know you. For people that don't know you, everyone, everyone always says the same shit, dude, right? Everyone always says, it's like, how the hell is this guy? And you get, you still get shit for it. I know you do, right? Every day. Yeah, like, how the hell? Is this guy selling so much real estate? And 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 I'm gonna get in like so, so give me that. Give me give me let's shut everyone up once and for all. Tell me. When I first started, it was like, yeah. oh my God, you know, because I was with when I first went full time, I went I went with you know on Joe's team, Joe Bograd. And uh -huh. it was like, oh my God, he's giving you all these leads. He's 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 like uh doing this and doing that. And look, it's yeah. like no, that's not what's going on. Yeah. Joe does his business and I'm learning to be, you know. I was always in the business and I did my little 10, 12, 12 deals a year. Uh -huh. Right. And uh -huh. then I started all through family and friends, right? Like all, yeah, like, you know, you get a couple, that's it. You do a few things and they, yeah. it, was, it was extra, it was cool. It was extra things, you know, extra yeah. money. Yeah. And then when you get into the full time part of it right now, it's like, wait a minute, I don't have the car business anymore. This is like, you know, do or die. It's either you're, you're going to make it or you're not going to make it. Yeah. And, you know, being in the car business and learning, to you know convert Dude, that, that business is freaking brutal right now you get it listen brutal the car business will give you a heart attack will give you gonorrhea it will give you everything <laughs> you, will give you any kind of disease you can think of because that's how fucked up it is 
you know. And I was say, listen, that's how I learned how to be a stage three. A late night show. This is like the James Corden. They got rid of that guy, James, whatever his name is. What's the guy that does car karaoke? Come on, somebody. The, the, the oh, late night show. They got rid of him, so we took over. So, God, you can curse all you want. <laughs> listen, and that's the thing. It's it's. I implemented that. Now, look, my brother too. He was um, he did contracting, building, and I started doing it too after the. And I, I I incorporate that. I we incorporate that into our business. I think that's a big thing, which we can. There's my boy John. What's up, Johnny boy? James Corden. That was him. James Corden. Yep. Yeah. Um, we incorporate that into our business, but realistically, how it worked is. I just was always converting leads from the car business. Remember, the car business is a different animal. What right? was your stick? Like, I want to hear the, the Chico stick. Like, I'm going to call as soon as they get on the horn. I'm like, listen, I'm interested in your 1990, uh, you know, Cadillac Soup DeVille with the uh, with the uh, the chromed out rims. Like, what? what yeah, like what was your shtick? How did you how did you close those guys? So that's it. So listen, it's all about getting them in, right? Yeah. And that's why I try to teach people today. The less questions, the better on the phone because they don't know who the hell you are. They uh -huh. don't trust you. And you got to get them into the you got to get them in. Once you get them in, boom. That's it. That's it. You're so, not let you're not letting them leave without a sale. I'm gonna try my damn maybe remember they've been to 13 other friggin' dealerships yeah. down Frankfurt Avenue. By the time they get to me, I mean I'm already running their credit for the fifth time. You know? What the hell is a what is a Chrysler Cordova? That was before, <laughs> that was before our time. That's what it is. There's my boy Bruno. Bruno's my boy. What Bruno up, dude? Guys, dude, I love he he and Stacy. It's like they just ooze the like like it's, you just think of Barry White when I see the both of them. It's like it's like darling. Uh, yeah, I can't get out. You can. It's just a good. They they have a good. They're they're a good duo, man. They they they're good. Yeah, good. they are. Everybody loves them. They're good people, and you know that's that's good. You know, I, I would love to be like that too myself. Oh yeah, absolutely. Well, I know you can't get your hands off your wife. <laughs> yeah, you know. but, you know, I got to be a touchy feely. I mean, I got to make sure. You know. Well, you know, I work a lot, so you got to be. You know, I'm, I'm always. Thinking, you know, is the milk man uh. over right now? Like, what the fuck is going on? Oh my god, dude! Yeah. So wait, so so <clears throat> this is like this is this to me. It's like I know it's some of the stuff we talked about so much, but you have to get that killer instinct in you, right? Like you have to. It, they always say you eat what you kill. It's it's really true in our business, no matter what. Like, of course, you're out to help people and do all that good stuff, but like you have to be seriously seriously good at sales. I mean, you really, really do. It's just part of the game, right? So, I mean, what? What you are for someone that's a stone cold killer, numbers wise, numbers wise, you are very, very calm. Are you always that calm? Well, I'm calm until I get pushed to that when the, someone pushes the button. And uh -huh. I had to learn a lot because it's different from the car business. And, and funny because when I became full time, like I didn't have a filter and I didn't learn how to just shut it off. And there would be some <laughs> people that would like when I just when I first joined Joe's team. Like some agents would just piss me off, and then I would just start going crazy. Yeah, that's all right. But Joe, Joe, what up, Marky me? Mark? Marky Mark. Oh, oh by the know. way, he he just texted me. He got a new. He bought a new car today. He Dude, got a please, bright orange interior. By the way, please tell me, did he go with the S class? Mark, did you go with the S class? No, I let him. I'll let him tell you. Mark. I'll let you decide if you want to tell him what you got. <laughs> Bright orange. I don't think they make an S in bright, bright orange. You might have no, no. The interior. He got in a bright orange interior. Yeah, I don't know. If, I don't know if Ben's makes a bright orange one. Though. Nah, I don't think it was seven fifty, brother. There it is. Oh shit! Oh, there it is. <laughs> he needs those the Chico rims though. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I put a set of twenties on there. <laughs> Absolutely. Oh my god, dude. Yes, sir. Yeah. So, so you've you've lost it a couple times since you've been in real estate. In the beginning, and, I, and Joe yeah. had to call me a couple of times. He's like, "Yo, dude, yeah. just eat the car business. You got to calm it, calm down, yeah. like breathe." Yeah, I'm like, "All right, yeah, all right." So it took me. So yeah, because it's hard. I'm it's hard though, man. You want to know the truth? I've learned the hard way. Like I've let my emotions get the best of me, especially in this business. You yeah. lose it one time, and, and like it's. It's like Will Smith slapping fucking Chris Rock, dude. Like there you go. You there can you, go. you can't <laughs> That's what it is. Yeah, listen. Yeah. Nowadays, I'm like, you gotta watch what you say. You gotta watch everything that you do. You don't want to get someone to turn you in for being unethical. 
Yeah. And look, yeah. at the end of the day, some people are going to piss you off. Yeah. That's the nature of it. And you're not yeah. going to lose some of the things that people do. Yeah. We just have to kind of keep our composure and keep cool. And I'm, I've been working on that. Yeah. I'm like working on myself to do that because look, I don't want to be known as an asshole. Like when I'm, when I'm with an agent mm. that knows me, like we look forward to working together. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I don't want look. And there's time. Listen, happened tonight. I lost an offer of Vicki Carey, Carla Williams, Philly. Mm -hmm. Um, She's a very good friend. She's a mentor to me. I mean, I, I love her. She's a great mm -hmm. woman. Is she the broker? I forget. Is she the broker? Yeah, she's the broker, yeah, she's the broker. Philly. yeah, yeah, yeah. Listen, I thought it was a shoe in. I thought the deal was done. Yeah. I didn't even tell my, I hope my buyer's not watching this. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't get the deal. I, listen, I didn't get the deal. I'm so upset. Listen, listen, honestly, at this point, you got to do this because the amount of stress that it's involved lately with trying to get a deal done, dude, it's it's bananas, man. It I, is bananas. I tell everybody nowadays, I'm telling all my buyers, I'm giving you the worst advice. <laughs> I'm giving you like I'm giving you bad advice on what to do right now. I, there's no there's no other way to explain it. How do you <sighs> how do you explain what's going on? They're, they don't understand it, especially new buyers. They're like, wait a minute, I'm not waiving inspections. I'm not doing that. And I'm like, I agree with you. Crazy. I agree with you. I would never, ever, 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 ever tell a buyer to wave or do anything that's going to make them. And I say that you have to be comfortable. If you're uncomfortable, you just got to just do what you can do. I mean, you almost like some people almost just can't buy right now, dude. Let's let's be honest. Like, let's just call spade a spade. Like, if you don't have a steel stomach, it's is a tough, tough time. And I'm not trying to discourage people. I only make money when they buy. I'm just being honest with you. Yeah. Listen, I'm yeah. very truthful. I met a client today, uh -huh. elder woman, was there with a daughter, great people, met them in Yardley. And look, they, they just, they said like, well, we heard the market's crazy. How crazy is it? And I started telling them, look, these are the things that are happening. This is being competitive in this market. I don't, I, I, listen, I'm a believer of escalation clauses. I, I, I do it so I can help my client not spend 50,000 if they don't have to. A lot of Tell, tell people what that is. You know what? Tell people, because that's very common now. So people that are watching this that aren't in the real estate game, right? That That is very common now. Tell people what that is, dude. Talk, talk this about clauses, look, it's, yeah. it's a lot of agents, a lot of listing agents do not like them, uh -huh. right? Because what they do is when you write the goddamn offer, right? Uh -huh. And then they come back to you, they're like, the, the seller wants all the escalation clauses removed and come in with your best and final. And they're like, uh -huh. you know, yeah. like, now I can't, now I got to, go balls to the wall and go back to the buyer. And, you know, you escalated 50. Now you got to go up to 50. Yeah. yeah. I try to alleviate that issue. I try to tell the buyer, look, let's go in and asking. You're not going to get it less than asking because it's fresh on the market. There's multiple offers. There's so much competitive stuff going on. Let's go in and asking, ask, give me a final number. What would you be feel, what would you feel comfortable with paying? Yeah. And I do comps. Look, I'll comp it out. And yeah, the comps don't make sense. They don't even, the comps forget I mean, the comps, dude. Listen yeah. to me. Yeah. There's a house that just sold in Abington. A great friend of mine. I'm not going to mention his name, but yeah, it was listed at 599. Yeah, right or 575. I think it was. Whatever the case is, I'm like going at 650. Yeah. Right, right, right. Let's go. Let's escalate it to 650. Then we started talking. We're like, wait a minute. Let me do some comps. The highest comp was like 540. Jesus. So I call my buddy Tim Ack, who's an appraiser. I'm like, Tim, does this make sense? And it didn't make sense. Guess what? That house sold for over 670. It's the highest split level sold in at this is going to set the bar for every house in Abington. It's but dude, it's I, this is the this is the other thing that's driving me wild though. It really is. Like if you're selling, take advantage, right? Like make as much money as you can. I don't I can't blame you for that. But like the homes that are selling at these numbers, like I'm driving by these, and I grew up in Huntington Valley. Like I know that area really, really well. Mm -hmm. These these aren't like sexy homes, dude. They're like basic shit. Like 1970 <laughs> porno style with green fucking rubs, right? And shit that you're just like you're gonna spend 650, then another 200 to uh, renovate this porno. Style. Ron Jeremy filmed his first porno in this house. And you're gonna get one for it. Honestly, that's the way it is. It's sick. <laughs> that might that might actually increase the price. <laughs> he, has his, he has his signature in the bathroom. You know what I mean? it's, just, it's very frustrating. I'll be honest with you. And yet, like again, go back to the escalation clause. Escalation clauses yeah. is to put that in place so a buyer, if they don't have to pay, you know, the, the top dollar of the of the um, of the price, 
then it doesn't it doesn't go that high. Unless now, do they have to? Do they have to show you? Um, do they have to? Does the listing agent have to show you that? So what I do is when so they when you if you win the offer, yeah. <laughs> you got <laughs> it. If they win the offer, they got to show you proof of the competing offer. They do I have always, to show you. Yeah, they do. Okay. So I always yeah. call the agent on that offer just to make yeah. sure it's not some you know they didn't make some offer up. Yeah. Well, you have to, right? To protect your buyer. You got it, because God forbid they just made some offer up and it's a bull bullshit offer. Then yeah. I mean that'd be stupid because they would lose yeah. their license doing something like that. But yeah, you know, I always double check on that stuff. Yeah, it's kind of it's banana. So so was escalation clause a thing at all since you got in the game? I don't even know what the hell it was. It's crazy, right? Did is that a new thing? Does anyone out there look? I don't anyone out there in Facebook world, when did this thing come about? Like, where did this escalation like I, it's like a year, right? What the past well, year? Listen, I always heard of them. I never used one because who the hell was going fifty thousand over ask in two thousand sixteen and fifteen? Nobody. It's crazy, right? You know, you know I, I just listen. I just posted a post today from one of my from my memories on Facebook. Two thousand eighteen. There you go. Two thousand eighteen. Okay. So I just posted a, a post from Facebook on my memories from twenty twenty, uh, and I posted. I just put an offer in, in Warminster for four fifteen. Right, the 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 agent texted me back and said they have an offer for four fifty five. What the hell is going on? Like this is when this shit started to happen. That's crazy, dude. Craziness, yeah. It's crazy. I mean, and honestly, what the hell can you even get for four hundred thousand dollars? I I mean, I don't even see that number anymore, dude. There is nothing. You're not going to get. You're going to get a trailer. <laughs> and trailer's Hills. That's what you're going to get. And there's nothing wrong with a trailer. Please don't. No, me. listen. At this point, it's where we. I, I don't know where the where is the money coming from, bro. Where does the cash come from? Where does the cash come from? I I have to understand this. I really do. So I'm a 41 year old man. I have two children, right? I've got a like ton of childcare crap that I'm paying for. Where do people come with this money, bro? I would love to know because I want to go wherever they're going and getting it. Because, <laughs> because where are they coming? You're right. The cash to 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 wave an appraisal. And pay the gap and, and any gap we're talking here. Any gap. Not 10 grand. We're talking any gap. This is nuts, dude. So how do it's, you, again, how do you compete? It's 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 not like it's like we're in 90210 in every fucking like place that there is. It's nuts. It's 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 nuts. Listen, I'm trying to expand. I'm in I'm in Harleysville right now. I'm going to I'm I'm going out further. It's even worse out there. You're in Harleysville. You've never been out. You must be like I'm in Harleysville. Listen, have you ever even been to these places before? This is my new. This is it's a new new thing for me. This is like a <laughs> like I'm going to the Bahamas or something. It's like a new new thing. I'm finding out this shit's even worse out there, dude. Yeah, it's listen, it's bad. And let me tell you another thing. Listen, I'm gonna tell you how bad it is. I have a client that works in <laughs> Sheltonham. She works in Sheltonham. Stay out of my hood. <laughs> we're, almost, we're almost at the Poconos, dude. Yeah, she's in the Poconos. Keeps, what are you talking about? If he keeps going, he's gonna be up at the Poconos. I'm gonna be up, yeah, I'm gonna be up at Mount Pocono soon. <laughs> Christ. Can you imagine you in a ski suit and goggles the Chico sell? I'm, I'm gonna try to sell Big Boulder. I'm gonna, I'm gonna sell Eskimo fucking clothes out there. <laughs> yeah, man, it's it's so it's Oh my god! It's really, it's really frustrating, dude. Oh my god! And, and you got, and you try and work these guys a little bit. See, I, <clears throat> I try and work it because I'm, I'm not a realtor, right? So what I'll do is I'll try and work my angle because I can be like, so give us an idea, like how can we win the offer? Like what can we do? I, I get one of the agents. I, I can't, I don't want to name a name just to throw her out there, but one of the agents on here. Um, listen to this, dude. Thursday, it's Thursday, right? South Jersey. By the way, South Jersey. These little shit shacks, dude. Hot. Like I'm talking like two bedroom, like one bath, nothing, nothing, right? Mm -hmm. We sent in an offer on Thursday night. On Thursday night, they're having an open house. And we said to the guy, look, you know, we're not going to send in the offer if you're going to take highest and best. Like, what's the point? We're wasting our time, right? He's like, nah, send it in. Like, if it's a good enough offer, we'll consider it, blah, blah, blah. The dude doesn't respond at all. Like, I'm talking nothing. Like, nothing. And, and, it's a small industry. Like we're going to cross paths again. hundred percent. Right. At least be somewhat respectful and say, look, we want to see what happens. We want to try and jack things up. Don't be a sleazeball. Right. So we go Thursday, 
We go Friday. This agent and I were like blowing this guy up, blowing him up. He got so lazy. He's literally sending her the same text he's sending me. Like he's copying and pasting. Copy it. Yeah, and we're throwing him into the same thread to the buyers, right? So finally, he thinks that we're we're bluffing. Our buyer said, you know what? This guy's a dick. We're going to go look at another house. They go and they look. Exactly. Well, we're going to call you out. It was you, Gianna. Yes, it was you. It's <laughs> copy and paste. This is what this guy was doing. What so happened? we, uh, what happened? You lose me? Okay, there we go. No, you're there. So so we go and we look. Our buyers go look at another house. They fall in love. The agent was a, was a, a mensch, right? right. This was nice, was communicating, was being professional. We ended up ended up winning the deal. Well, guess what happens today? It's Tuesday, Anthony. Tuesday, right? Yeah. The, the, the agent comes back and says, "Oh yeah, well, we were gonna go. We're gonna go with your offer." And we're like, "Dude, you're you, beat. You you instead of you like instead of you being a mensch and, and and telling us what's going on, we had to go through all this and find another house. And I gotta tell you, if I were that seller and I knew you were doing that, no, nah, no, nah, dude. Nah. Listen, it's bad nah. representation. No." Nah. There's nothing worse than a listing agent that takes your offer. I know. After we rescinded it, Gianna. After we rescinded it. <laughs> There's nothing worse than a listing agent that holds your offer hostage. It just happened to me over the weekend. We went to the open house. I specifically said, hey, if we send you an offer. I hate to be the first offer because you know what they do. They take your oh, offer and oh, they wait. stop the try shit. Be, try being the first lender, bro. Yeah, they chop the, the first list. lender. Forget they it. They chop the shit out of it. Yeah. And then she's like, no, as soon as they come in, I'm, I'm presenting them. So if they if they decide to pick one before the deadline, then that's that's what's going to. All right, great. Yeah. yeah dude, dude, it's, it's going to be Wednesday. Okay. I text her today. Hey, say, what's going on my offer? Yeah. Oh, well, the uh, the the seller uh, wants to wait till tomorrow. Okay. Did you did you present the offer? No, yeah. we're going to present them tomorrow. No, but see, here's what I'm talking about. Yeah. I specifically asked you what you're going to do with it. You're going to present it to the seller and you didn't present it to the seller. So now we, we're, on, we're waiting, right? And now my buyer's like, what's going on? What's going on? What's going on? I'm like, screenshot. Here you go. Look, this is what's going on. Are you kidding me? I, I, I just, but this is the part I don't get, right? Let's, let's be logical here for a minute. What's the point of being a douchebag? I don't understand. Like, what's the benefit? It's supposed to be like a, like we're supposed to be a kumbaya in the, I know everyone look behind closed doors. Everyone's competitive. I get it. I understand it. I really do. But I know that, that listings are hard to come by and it's hard to get this. And I get all that, but isn't there something to be said about, you know what? Uh, I'm going to be a nice guy so that next time I give an offer to this agent that everything's well received and we all work well together. Cause honestly, at the end of the day, Aunt, at this point, if you don't know the guy across the table, you ain't getting it. Nothing. You ain't shit. Listen, it's like it's, it would be like me and Mark got it doing a deal together, right? Yeah. Yeah. First of all, we would love to do a deal together. You one. guys wouldn't talk to each other by you talk at each other. <laughs> yeah, we, yeah, we start using hand gestures and <laughs> all kinds of stuff. We yell and scream. People think we're cursing each other out. We're just having a normal conversation. Yeah. You know, if me and him are doing a deal together or together, it's going to go by smoothly because you know yeah. what? Listen, we're going to, he's going to text me. I'm going to call. We're going to answer each other's questions and we're going to enjoy doing the deal together. And there's these agents that have these chips on their shoulders. Like, like, like they got the, like the, the gold, you know, like, I, I, like the golden listing. It's, it's, it's the whole thing. I can't get over it. Right? And you know what it is too. I think everyone's scraping, man. Everyone, it's hard. Everyone's getting hit financially this year. It's a tough year for everybody. Yeah, I mean, I'm, down, lend, I'm, I'm you know, down in numbers. I'm down in my yeah, numbers. It's tough, dude. It's a tough year, but I'll tell you the truth. It's these years, right? And it's these times where you see the, the real cream rise to the top. You really, really do, you know? Yeah. Buyers and sellers mentality. Yeah, bro. I know it's it is. I, I and look, this wasn't supposed to be a bitch session, but I figured that when you and I got into a I room, think we can year, relate. Listen, I think yeah. anybody listening to this right now can relate to what's going on. It's just yeah, it's yeah. it's really messed up. I think everybody's down in numbers. And here's the problem when that happens, and I try yeah. to tell everybody, like, look. Yeah, I post a lot on Facebook because I'm consistent. That's the that's the way I'm, yeah. I'm built. Consistency will always get you a, a, a deal or get you a, a new client. They once they feel that they're in a in a in a rut mm. or they're down or they're not winning things. Like I lost eight offers in the last couple of days. Eight mm. offers, man. Mm. I'm yeah, I'm pissed. Fuck. Right. Yeah. yeah. That's not going to stop. Did, what I'm, did you do? What did you do? Did you <clears throat> turn on rap music? Did you punch walls? How did you do it? I had, I had Mob Deep. I had 50 yeah. Cent. I had all kinds of NWA flying. Yeah. 
through, through yeah. the air. You get real mad. Do you rip off shirts too? Is that part of your thing? I'm, a Hulk, I'm, a, I'm the Italian Hulk Hogan. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> I was like, what, the, what are you doing? I'm like, please. Right now. Yeah. please. I'm coping with it. <laughs> Wait for me right now, please. Yeah, but you want to know, Anthony, this is what I will say, right? Regardless of how much deals we're closing, you and I still do the same stuff, which is we just go out and do this. It's the same routine. You go out, you hustle, you hit the phones, you go to see the same people, you do the, the same activity. It's funny, like the activities that you did when you were selling more don't change from the activities that you're doing when you're selling less. Nope. The reality is if you don't do those, regardless, nothing's going to happen. you got to stay listen, consistent always. Yeah. If, if the minute you stop is the minute you disappear. Yeah, it's true, man. It's, it's, listen, Listen, I know I'm annoying. I know I'm annoying. I post 50. I post, I go to the bathroom. I post, I, I wherever I'm at, I'm posting. The goal is to be consistent. And I yeah. promise you that I get leads and I get business from doing that. Yeah. Yeah. Okay? Yeah, dude. Name I get it. Yeah. It's the name of the game. If, even yeah. if I'm not doing anything, I'll post my logo. I'll put whatever the case may be. Yeah. I'm going to be in someone's face showing it. And yeah. the other thing that I do is I'm always putting my buyers, new buyers, old buyers, whatever on a constant drip of emails of new listings of their criteria. I consistently do that. And let me tell you something, just this weekend, two buyers that I met one in 2020 and one in 2021, both contact me from, because the emails they're getting every, you know, every week, whatever the case may be. Yeah. We put offers on properties. Dude, I'm telling I, you. I didn't, listen, I didn't even talk to the one. The one went to an open house. I didn't know they went to. She called me. She's like, Anthony, I went to an open house. I want to put an offer. I'm like, who is this? <laughs> yeah. like, it's, I was like, oh my God, how are you? Yeah. Yeah, I seen it on, on your one of your emails. I seen it was an open house. I don't want to bother you. I went there. She called me and she she called me. She could have went to the listing agent. She could have yeah. went anywhere. Yeah. She called me. Yeah. It's crazy, man. I mean, that's the other thing you forget. It's not instant in this business. It's it's really you're putting time in now for next year or the year after. It's it takes time. It you need a pipeline. Time. Listen, yeah, you're never going to close. Like for instance, I'm big Zillow. Everybody uh -huh. hates Zillow. I get it. There's how big? Money. How big are you? Like like will you share that? How big are you? I spend I spend now probably twelve thousand a month. That's from and, and and honestly, that it's funny. Like maybe like a year or two ago, I would be like, whoa, like is that the was that the highest you've ever been? Yeah, I started off at two thousand a month. Did you, so twelve, yeah, but twelve thousand a month. But you have a formula, like 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 that number is like a science to you, I'd imagine. It is. Right? So what happens is, I mean, I'm not gonna lie, my butthole clenched a little bit when I heard that number. <laughs> Listen, how do you think my butthole feels when I, write, when I have to write the checker? Or yeah. like, oh, trust me, it's not, it don't feel good. <laughs> you know, I got to get prepped for that stuff. <laughs> I'm a cheap bastard. I don't like to spend anything. You know. No, no. When you, so you know what? Actually, this is great. I never even thought about this. You're to me. You are probably the biggest person in Zillow I've ever met. Like, I mean, like financially and like numbers wise. Give me what does that look like? Like, what is twelve thousand? Like, how many calls? How many leads? So, what's your system? Give me the give me the whole thing, bro. Remember, Zillow yeah. is based off of zip codes, right? So I'm right. number one in Yardley. I'm number one in Ben Salem. They're two very good. Now, zip do you codes. buy those number one spots? Is that how yeah, it works? Yeah, so okay. that's how you keep. Okay. So they, these these fuckers keep raising the rent. Yeah, all the yeah. time. Yeah, they yeah, keep yeah. raising the rent nonstop. Yeah. Yeah. Every time my my rep calls me, I say, yeah. "Listen, don't even tell me you're you're opening up the zip code." I said, "Just tell me at least kiss me, I just <laughs> want to kiss before you go deep." Because <laughs> it's it's not like they open up a little a little bit. Do they it's give like, you a free T-shirt or anything or not? They don't even not even a reach around. They don't do nothing. <laughs> okay? it, it's hardcore. Okay, hardcore to the floor. So the Zillow. Oh my god! I'm spending twelve thousand dollars a month. Lily, I love you. How are you? <laughs> um, listen. Zillow, listen, at the end of the day, it comes down to- Do you need a to, shot, bro? Do you need a shot? Huh? Do you need a shot? Dude, look, I'm in my bar. I used to, if I turn this around, there's liquor all behind me. Yeah. yeah. If I flip this around, there's all kinds of shit behind Wait, me. Wait, so I got, no, go ahead. You got to keep going. I got to hear what this, I got, what's, what, you give me the whole Zillow thing, bro. I need the whole thing. Now it, I need it. It comes down to zip codes, right? So, so, so how many calls are you getting for that kind of money? So for that money, I get, yeah. I get 
14 and 14. So I get 28 live calls and I get another 16 nurtures. Six. Okay. So what the hell is a nurture? Nurturing is someone that they like reached it kind of went on Zillow, but they weren't uh, going to get a hold of them. So they'll just send you their contact. And then I got to work the lead from start. So that, okay. So the nurture by definition is a hard cold lead. lead it's, like a cold, it's like a cold it's lead. It's a cold lead. Okay. So, so what's your stats? Like, what's your, like, do you, like, how many of those do you have to close for this to make? I mean, you got to do at least. Kenny Prowls. Prowls. Yeah. I'm sorry, Kenny Prowls. <laughs> yeah, you're good, bro. He, so he knows. I'm closing, I'm closing anywhere from six, <laughs> six out of 10 leads. That's, that's called six out of 10. Dude, that's six out of 10. That's, that's awesome. Well, think about it. The ones, so a lot of the times they call you, like I had a call the other day. Yeah. And I'm going through it and, I, and I'm talking to this guy for like three days. Yeah. I'm like, listen, I can get you into the house. He's like, well, all right, no problem. I'm going to, so you walk me through it and then I'll let my agent know. I'm like, oh, wait, 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 wait. You're, you're, excuse me. You'll let who know? Well, I have an agent. I said, what do you call? What are you calling me for? I said, is your agent? He goes, well, he's not available. He's down the shore. I said, oh, is he? <laughs> I said, but so basically, I said, Listen, this is a five hundred dollar call, motherfucker. Right, exactly. <laughs> I'm like, yo, if you, if I show you that house, I'm your realtor. Yeah, yeah. yeah. There's yeah. no, I'm letting you in, and you're gonna. If I show you the house, I'm your realtor. But how it works generally works is you get a phone call from Zillow. Yeah. They, yeah. they, so they text you the address of what they're looking at. Yeah. I answer the call. I don't ask any. Only thing I ask them is, "Hello, how you doing? This is Anthony from from Keller Williams." Are you looking at this property? Yes, I am. What day and time can you see it? Well, I put in for tomorrow at 11 o'clock. Perfect. Is this your cell phone number? Yes, it is. I said, give me five minutes. I'll call you right back. Boom, 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 boom. Make the appointment. Call back. We're, we're, we're confirmed. Oh, so you use the same stuff you used to use at the car dealership. Which I don't ask, today. are you pre-approved? I don't ask nothing. And that's the problem. Hmm. They, they, so they ask questions and they don't know who the hell you are. They came in. Who, they came in. How do Dude, you know? that's crucial. So getting in front of them makes all the difference in the world. The minute I'm in front of them, I, yeah. it's it's look, I tell them I'm a, I'm a licensed contractor. I'm bonded and short. I'm going to go up through this house. I'm going to tell you the good and the bad. Are you okay with that? Yes, I am. Please do that. Mm. Walk through the house and I give them, I, and I, I show them things that, that are wrong and I show them things that are good. Mm. At the end of the conversation, I, I have a conversation before I leave. I don't just say, all right, guys, nice to meet you. I'm going to see you. I say, look, what's your time frame? Are you looking to move mm. tomorrow? Well, mm -hmm. no, I'm, I, my, my lease is up in six months. Perfect. That gives us time to spend a lot of time together. That gives us time to walk through houses, to compare different houses. That gives us time to, to go through everything. And you don't feel rushed. Mm. Because that's what's going to happen right now. You're going to feel rushed. You're going to feel uncomfortable. And that's not what I want you to do. I don't want you to feel uncomfortable. I want you to be as comfortable. When you walk into a house, you're going to know that you love it. You're going to know this is the one because you're going to envision yourself living here. Right? So I so I want people to understand that grind for a minute, right? So <clears throat> your mindset is that if you get in front of them, and by the way, it's interesting because I feel like I'm the same way, dude. I feel like if I can get in front of somebody, that's it. Like I can Ooh. I can knock it over. I, I I agree with you 100. So the thought is, if you can get in front of every one of those 14 calls, the hot ones, right? Then you then you can convert those, and that's why you're probably converting so much. That makes sense. Dude, that, listen, that makes sense. Again, it's all about conversation. I, I, yeah. I'm not just saying, look, I'm there to sell you a house, but I'm there to also create a, a client. And, and yeah. the client is going to refer me business, right? And I'm going to, you can ask any of my clients. I'm friends with mostly almost all of them. They invite me to their kids' birthday parties, Christmas parties, whatever it is. We yeah. become, it actually sucks when you're done, when, you, when they find the house because yeah you don't spend time anymore you know i so, feel that way too. i always tell people like you know don't forget me <laughs> like <laughs> yeah. i always say listen the first barbecue i'm there i'm, I'm bringing yeah. the, thing, the, the pursuit to everything i'm bringing over there so <laughs> that's listen the goal is to make your client feel comfortable and yeah. know what the hell you're selling yeah. i've been saying this for a long time yeah. when you go to a property no matter how many houses you're selling or uh -huh. showing know what you're selling when they ask yeah. you a question you got to look at your phone or, or a piece of paper you look like an asshole yeah you do. Yeah. What are the taxes? Oh, hold on a second. Oh, they're fifty four hundred. Yeah. What, what's the H like? I know when you ask me a question about a house, what's mm. the HOA fee? Three forty five. Mm. What does it cover? It covers this, this, this. Boom, 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 boom. And there's a pool mm. in there too. Yeah. Contribution, uh, capital contribution. This is what that is. That's you know. I, I explain everything. Mm. Mm. Everything. And guess what? They feel comfortable. Yeah. They really me. They're, they're, so as soon as I leave them, mm. I get an alert. Literally the day or the next stating so-and-so confirmed you as their agent on Zillow. Mm. They can confirm you. Now you're their agent for over a year.
So, so in reality, dude, like you're treating the buyer's appointments like listing appointments. That's what you're doing. My boy, Josh. What up, Josh? My boy. Yeah. So you're so you're treating them like they're listing appointments. Listen, I am, but people want knowledge, uh, Chad. And be honest with you. And I say, yeah, but dude, but Ailey, I'm gonna be honest. Like, not everyone does that, right? A do. lot of people will be like, you know what? Eh, you're not pre-approved. I'm not showing you the friggin' house. I mean, maybe at 12k, it's a little different. <laughs> But you understand what I'm saying. Listen and, and, and listen, I'm not busting your balls for spending the money. Because listen, Anthony, at the end of the day, dude, if anyone's proved that they can get the return, it's you, obviously. Right? Do the listen, yeah. you do the mathematics. You do 100 yeah. years. You do 100 deals a year. Yeah. That's all grand is. Yeah. It's nothing. It's nothing. Right. It's nothing. And that's the reality, dude. Like everyone spends. No one. This is my, my favorite thing. No one realizes how expensive it is to be in our business. To, like everyone thinks, oh, I can get my real estate license. It is expensive. This it's is expensive it. to be a lender. It's expensive to be a realtor. You have to spend money. Listen, let me tell you something. Not only do I spend twelve thousand dollars a month in yeah. Zillow, yeah, I spend money on SEO. Yeah. I oh, tell me about that. Tell me about that. I do. I do Google ads. I do Google. I do. I Google my business. I have a market. You got a, You got a guy for that. Yeah, I got right. my, my buddy David. That he's hook, very good. Hook, hook me up, brother. Hook my me up. boy Doug. Hey, yeah, <laughs> listen, my, my boy Doug Graham. He's amazing. Yeah, they do good branding, good logos creation. Your your things. branding, your branding's hot, dude. I like it. Listen, that's the yeah. thing. It's and, and you yeah. have don't just keep it going. I try to change it up differently, so yeah. it's always something new. Yeah, right. You want to bring something new out there. It's, it's like it's like an old club that's been been like Egypt has been around for eight years, right? Everybody's yeah. Egypt. And then if they rebrand themselves, it's like, oh, it's a new thing. So everybody's yeah. go back to it. Yeah. You always gotta rebrand, like always rebrand yourself. Yeah. Doug Graham's my boy. Bruno knows. Um, but I spend money on that. I spend money on on postcards, just list, just sold. Mm. I don't just send a hundred, I send twenty five hundred, I send five thousand, mm. ten thousand. Mm. It's all a cost. I, I have C I pay for a CRM. The, yeah. the implement what do you use? What's your CRM? I use a follow up boss. Oh, yeah. Okay. All right. Listen, the good thing about it's like anything else. But we put campaigns together. I, mm. Listen, I just got four alerts the other day that that gave me a one year anniversary of people that that settled in their house a year ago. Mm. That keeps you in contact with. So I'm like, oh, cool. Let me text them. Hey, ha happy one year anniversary. Whatever the case is, maybe send mm. them something. Like, dude, it, it's not just the Zillow. It's it's everything else to keep you up to par. Yeah, yeah. With, with and 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 gifts and and you know the Philly schedules, the Eagle schedules, the Flyers schedules. Just anything. You're a you're a marketing machine, bro. I mean, you're a marketing machine. And I feel like I'm not doing enough. Yeah, I feel like I'm not doing enough. Yeah, you're. I mean, but but I'm glad that we're having this conversation because for some reason the misconception is what's up, Christy. Christy. The, the the misconception, honestly, dude, is that like, uh, you know, you can get in, you can get a license, and you can go out and start selling like crazy, and then everyone gets licensed, and they're sitting there, and they're like. Yeah, like how are these guys doing it? You're a you have to be a machine. You, you know have you, to be a machine. You, you have to want it. You have to have it, and that's the yeah. thing. And okay. you have to have balls, dude. You got to take a risk. I mean, let's be honest. Like you got balls. Like you're just like in reality, you're you do you probably don't even flinch at what you spend because you know you're gonna set, you're gonna Listen, sell. Your let me let me let me reiterate that I'm not yeah. happy about yeah. what I spend. That I'm not yeah. trying to brag about what I spend. No, 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 no. I'm not. I'm not saying it that way. Yeah. I want to make sure yeah. that everybody understands that. Look, yeah. what I'm doing honestly is not healthy. It's an unhealthy practice. Yeah. It is because I work. I don't even know how my wife is still with me. I can be yeah. honest. Yeah, there's, dude, it's it's I'm tough, fine. dude. Yeah. Like, there's no kid time. There's and, and all this goes by so fast. Like tonight, yeah. I was out showing in Dulles Town. My wife's like, "You want to go to Chickies and, and Pete's with the kids?" And I'm thinking to myself, "Absolutely, I do." Yeah, absolutely. Let's go to yeah. Chickie and Pete's with the kids. We just went there just to spend time with each other. Like, yeah. what I do is unhealthy, and I feel mm -hmm. that, you know, I now it's going to get even worse because I I'm now trying to form my own team, right? But yeah, and we're gonna get it. That's a good segue. That's a good segue. It's, I it's, it. Listen, it's not. You can't just say I'm going to form a team and just be like think it's going to form a team. Yeah. That's not how it works. Yeah. For you to form a successful team, yeah, you need to implement things that are going to attract another agent that's going to help their business. Mm -hmm. Not because you're with Anthony DeChico or Emilio DeChico. It, that's not how it works. Mm -hmm. You have to implement systems and make sure that you are there by their side 
to help them grow their business to be the best agent that they can be. That is my goal of a team. Now, that may not be tomorrow. It may mm. take me a year. It may take me two mm. years. Mm. But in the meantime, I'm going to build us, right? Mm. I'm going to build us. So when I'm ready at that point to bring agents on, I already have a few that are coming on. Yeah, but, but Ant, let's be real for a minute, bro. Like how many people are team leaders that don't know how to generate yeah. jack shit? Like, no, I'm being serious. Like you have to know how to produce business. Rule number one is if you don't know... And, and part of that is buying Zillow leads, going to these events, doing the marketing, doing it. And, it, and it's, there's not one thing. It's a pie. It's a big pizza pie, right? right? And you got to do all the pieces of the pie and you got to hit them all at the same level. Mm -hmm. And, 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 you know, that's my biggest struggle. When I first got into lending, right? And it's no different, dude. It's the same thing. The only difference is I'm kissing your butt and someone else. It's a food chain, right? I mean, come on. Mm -hmm. And, and, and. You know, I, I'll never forget this. I'm sitting there and I'm talking to the guy that owns my brokerage. And he says to me, go out and sell loans. I'm like, I don't even know what a loan is. What do you mean go out and sell a loan? What are you talking about? Right. The dude, and, and he literally would have me look at the stock market and look at the bond market. And we'd have these stupid meetings and we would talk about who was selling the most. And it was always the same idiot. And, da -da 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 -da. and I leave these meetings and I was dumber than where I started. Right. I never knew how to produce business. Until I sat there and said, all right, I got to start talking to somebody that's going to give me business. It starts with referrals. We don't have a pot to piss in. Someone's got to give you business. Luckily, I had people that gave me a chance. Statistics, you hit enough people, someone gives you a shot. And you work your ass off for them so that you can show you're good at it. And then it starts to grow and you build a reputation. And then you have money to do this other shit, right? Yep. But how many, they're, like, I'm going to be honest. You're a successful agent first. I don't know how many team leaders I've had, bro, or I've heard of that weren't successful agents. They weren't. And how can they provide a good service to an agent to help them to mentor them? It's, 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 look, look, yeah, look, I, come I on the team. It. Come on the it. team, right? I'm not going to provide you with nothing, right? And I'm going to reevaluate you in 90 days. Oh, you're not producing. So you're off the team. You're wasting money. You're wasting mm. time. That's not what I'm looking to do. What I'm looking to do is grow a team that's going to be now. I'm going to help them. Look, you can ask people. I've mentored a few people. And to be honest with you, they're, 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 they appreciate that because it helped their business. I'm not saying I'm better than anybody else, but look, I'm going to teach you what I know. I only know how to sell. I only know how to make money. I only know how to create more business as, as I'm learning every day too. Like I'm not, I'm not a professional. Like I, I, there's some things I don't really know that I'll ask questions about. But I, one thing I do know is that when I, when I bring on this team, right, and I'm going to make sure that whoever's on this team is going to benefit and they're going to become one of the best that they can be. That's, that's the goal, 100%. Tommy, Tommy my, my homeboy. Yep. My homeboy. I love that title company, man. I know everyone's got their title company, but I love those guys. I'm with them. I'm yeah. now with them. Yep. Dude, they're amazing. Like, they really are. I love – I know everyone wants to say this. I love the Malcolms. They're awesome, dude. They're a great title company. Absolutely. The dude, the dude gets his stuff done. Tommy is uh they're good people, man. Good. I love those guys. For sure. Tommy Deed package. Yeah. Mm -hmm. <laughs> they're good people. But um, yeah, I mean, honestly, dude, I I I like that, you know, at least joining your team, I'd understand how to run a real business. And 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 you know what? It's not for everybody, and that's okay, dude. It's okay if if you know, oh, I want to sell real estate. It's not just about selling real estate. It's about running a real business. So yes. if you want to reach those kind of numbers, you better be able to spend it and run it and work it, or you're not going to get there. It's Listen, just going to be a hobby. I don't want to babysit and I don't want to babysit anybody. Yeah. I want to make sure that, look, when you come to me with something, I have the answer for you to help you to succeed mm -hmm. or come along with me. Like I brought a few agents with me. Um, to open houses. It's not about, look, is that, is that more pressure for you? I'm curious. Like it's not because it's, yeah. I, I like to teach and I like to, yeah. look, I didn't, but do you I, feel responsible for their production? Well, you know what, when they do good, I feel good because you know what, yeah. at the end of the day, they may be using something that they learned from me. Right. That's the good thing. So, you know, I, I brought an agent along with me. I took her to open, you know, a few open houses. I took her to when I first met a Zillow, lead for the first time. I took her to people that I already was working with. And it's all about interaction. It's not right. really just about 
hey, let's look at this house. I, you know, I joke about my wife going to home goods and spending a million dollars every freaking week, you know, and pillows and, and shit for the pool that we don't need that she already bought last year. And she'll buy wicker furniture that sits the fuck outside a whole winter. Right. And the but she can do whatever she wants. She can do whatever she wants. She can do whatever she wants. You know, the, the baby factory I got sitting at my house, the four kids and the granddaughter and everything else. You know, like I, I interact with people on that level, on, on, on a friend level. Mm. And it, it makes people feel comfortable. I just feel that, you know, once so you're doing this. So you're doing that's get, get, get the core. Let's get to the core. Right. And this is, I'm going to get to the softer side of Anthony, the Chico, right. I'm going to get to the softer side. Cause I think, I'm going to get an answer that most people may not, may not think they think you're a machine and you want to make money. And there's nothing, look, there's nothing wrong with that. People have glorified, you know, hustling and grinding and, and mm -hmm. whatever the other terms are at this point. Like I use the superstar word because I want to be high level and I want to churn and burn too. Absolutely. But I think there's another reason why are you doing the team? You don't need it. I don't. And that's the thing. When I first said I'm going to join, I'm going to form a team, I'm thinking to myself because there's a lot of things to implement. There's a yeah. lot of cost. There's a lot yeah. of, it's basically you're, you're a brokerage, your own brokerage in a brokerage. Right. So there's cost and there's things that like, you know, I, I started to get like second guess it. Like, you know what, do I really need to do all this? Do I really need to kind of just, should I just focus on me right now? Me and my brother just building this thing up and then eventually get into it. Like that might be the way to go. Right. But as soon as I went on my own, I started getting bombarded with phone calls. I'm mm -hmm. coming. Let's sit down. What are we doing? Come on. You know, then you start thinking like, damn, maybe uh, maybe I can try this out for a second. Right. See what happens. Right. But I don't have I didn't have anything implemented yet. And my my assistant, Amanda Aquaro, is fan fucking tastic. Mm -hmm. I mean, she is just <clears throat> I met her when I was a call banker hard side. And uh, when I went to Better Homes for a little bit. I, um, you know, I, she was there and then I seen her at a showing one time and, and we, we kind of reconnected, but she's just, she knows her shit. She knows how to keep me grounded when I go mm -hmm. off the angle. Right. Mm -hmm. And, you know, she put together a system. She, she heard and listened and we have meetings every, almost every day. I'm on the phone with her almost every day and she's putting in systems that are going to work. Mm -hmm. And I think this is going to be something good. I mean, you know, tomorrow I have a, I have a, I have a meeting with Mike McCann, who is mm -hmm. another I never, I never heard of him. No, yeah, I don't ever heard of Mike McCann. The real yeah. <laughs> no way. Mike, listen, he, that Mike, I look up to Mike. Uh, I knew Mike for about 10 years, maybe longer. And um, he's a good mentor and he's real. He's mm -hmm. not just, he, he talks like how me and you are talking. That's how he's talking. Like, mm -hmm. he's, just, he's down to earth. Good guy. You know what I like about, let, let me tell you what I like with my interactions with him. You know, aside from the positive and all that other stuff, he's pretty much like, listen, I'm going to run at the front in the front at the front of the pack. Like I'm going to be the leader in the race. Mm -hmm. It's up to you to keep up with me. Like if you want, I'll show you how Absolutely. I'll show you how I train. I'll show you what I do, but I ain't going to slow the fuck down. Like, yeah. Listen, he's still killing it. He's still working 30, was he 37 years in the business? I mean, yeah. he's a machine. Yeah. That's, that's, that's an icon right there. And he's just, he's a good yeah. mentor. Yeah, man, he's yeah. he's he really is. It's a, if if you say anything negative about him, you haven't met him. You know, yeah, that's yeah. how I feel. Like. Yeah, yeah. No, listen, when I when I I was building these houses, well, I was looking at this property in Northern Liberties, mm. and um, like I'm friends with Jim Onesti and Rich Frable, who was on his team at the time when he was with Berkshire, and I was I wanted to buy it, but I was a little nervous. I'm like, damn, it's three houses. I don't know the it was it was uh, Northern Liberties, so the the area was good. So I, who I call, I call Mike. Mm. Like Mike, do me a favor. I'm looking at this property. What's the address? He goes, my gym's right around the corner. I'll be there at six o'clock. <laughs> okay. It's, it's my, my phone rings at six fifteen. He's like, if you don't fucking buy it, I'm buying it. <laughs> I was like, all right, no problem. And I bought it and I built them and we sold all three of them. It was <laughs> when I built. I was the guinea pig, right? Then another builder came next to me and built two, and then another builder, U.S. Construction, who I did a lot of work for. They built 37 houses next to me. Wow. So community. Yeah, it was crazy. Wow. So look, I always look back to that. It's, it's you know, and that's the thing. People in this business, if you have the right leader in, in charge of you, you will be 
the best. I mean, you'll, you'll yeah. be the best at what you can do. I mean, that's what it comes out of. Look, it's going to cost money. That's, that, I mean, it's one thing to, to have the knowledge to go out and do it. You're going to have to spend money to get, you need your phone ringing. That's the hardest part, dude. It's like, it, it's hard when you're, especially in a time like this, right? When numbers are down and you, and, and you're concerned about the next deal to pay bills, you have to have the balls to do that stuff. It's hard, dude. It's scary, man. It's it looks- hard. You start looking at numbers like I'm, I was looking at the numbers the other day. And I'm like, fuck. Dude, yeah. I was like, I was like 20 deals ahead at this point last year. Mm-hmm. You start to think like, what, what, what am I not doing now? You're, now, now I'm in my head because mm-hmm. that's how I am. Like I'm, I'm pretty, I'm, I got, look, my anxiety is terrible. Right. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So now I'm in my head like, oh my God, am I, am I going out? Am I losing business? Am I doing the right, not the right things? Like I start to think all kinds of shit. Mm-hmm. And I'm in bed. I'm up at three o'clock in the morning, like staring at the walls, like, oh my God, hell, Mary, full of grace, Lord. Like I'm saying prayers at this point because I'm thinking I'm doing the wrong thing. But really, realistically, it's just what's happening. Right. It's just yeah, it's stuff you can't control. Yeah, yeah for sure. sure. Can't yeah, do it. For sure. For yeah. sure, dude. So you went, um, tell us about the process. Uh, I know, I don't want to get too heavy into it. I know you've been you, on your uh, podcast parade. Anyone's asked you about the, the breakup with the Bograd and all that good stuff. I I want to, I'm going to turn it. I'm going to flip it. I'm going to make it positive, right? What's the one thing or few things that you're going to take away from that that will have helped you in your career, that, that time with Joe? Listen, Joe, I knew Joe 20 years. Mm-hmm. Joe was my first realtor when I bought my first house. Mm. He's a good, he's a good guy. He's a fair guy. His dad is a, his da- I love his dad. His dad's a, just a good, just a good person. So when I went on the team, um, I was looking at numbers, you know, of, of everybody that was on the team. I'm like, damn, 80 deals, 70 deals. I'm thinking to myself, I did 12. Yeah. How am I getting to that? How am I getting there? Mm. And that's when they kind of, they were like, well, we do Zillow. I'm like, the fuck is Zillow? What is mm. like? What does Zillow do for you? Well, they they provide leads. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, I go I'll go get on Zillow. Well, I go on Zillow. I'm like, damn, three grand. I'm I'm spending three grand a month. Like mm. I'm, at this point, I'm not in the car business anymore. I don't have any income besides my construction stuff coming in. So I'm like, damn, three grand a month. Just three times twelve is thirty six thousand. I'm like, wow, okay. So I started to do it, and mm. I, I told you I started off at two thousand dollars, and then mm. by little I started increasing, but. What I gained from it, I mean, I, I just watched Joe. Joe's a fucking machine. I mean, yeah, he is out. a dude. He is a machine. I've never in my life seen one person get that much. Like, you can be out to lunch with them. You'll, you'll, me, we'll just be bullshitting on the phone. Right, he'll get a phone call. Yeah, I just got four listings down in North Liberties. I'm like, <laughs> and one person or two people. Like, she just like. <laughs> you you want to you kind of want to get to that level, and that's what I, I was I was just. What is it though? Like, I'm, I'm like, what did you take? Did you, is there something there that you can take? Let's forget the Zillow part. Is there, is there anything you can take from that, that, that you were like, aha, like, is there something in there that you, work, that, is there a secret ingredient? That work, you work ethic. Work ethic. Yeah. Joe, yeah. listen, Joe can be in Miami. Joe can be in Mexico. He can be in, in wherever he's at. He's always going to do business no matter mm-hmm. what. Mm. His phone is always on. He's always texting. He's always calling. He's always making sure that his deals are going to close. Like he's, his worth ethic is soup to nuts. Mm. So I learned that from my father being in the car businesses, you know, there was no sitting around in my house. It was, you need to work or get the fuck out, you know, right. basically what it came down to. So right. you get into that family. So his, it's like a family oriented, you know, brokerage with his dad and him and everybody else. And I learned that the work ethic and he was constantly out there. He was, so the social media. So that's when I started really doing po- Pepper and so- social media. I'm watching Joe post, 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 and the interactions and people commenting. And I'm like, you know what? So I tried. So I tried it, and it's working. And it works. Yeah, yeah. You know? And it should. And you're more or less just telling your story. You're not doing anything crazy fancy, right? No. Listen, I'm not. Yeah. I'm not. All I'm saying is, is if you love what you do, I love what I do. Honestly, mm. I really love. I, it's like mm. it's like a high. I get high from the shit. Yeah. If you love with you, what you do, you'll be successful because you love it. If you hate what you do, you're going to be negative and you're all negative shit's going to happen. That's true. How That's true. Like, like, let me tell you, man, especially now during these times, protecting your mindset is so important. It's if, so important, dude. Like if you can't, if, if people are going to start getting negative, like stay away. Just That's stay the thing. away. That's yeah. the problem. It got, everything yeah. starts to get negative. You start to see jealousy. You start yeah. to see 
see shit that you're like, why? Yeah. I'm not yeah. bothering you. I'm not doing anything. I'm just working and I'm putting up numbers. Yeah. I'm not bothering you. Why are you fucking breaking balls? Yeah. And it came to a point and I just said, and that was it. I was done. I just, and I think that's, and, that, and that's, you know what, dude, what you just said is probably the most important message to anyone watching this tonight. When you're out there doing these deals and, and I'm, I'm going to just, I'm going to keep it real. And you encounter these salty motherfuckers, right? <laughs> Let it go. Don't let them being salty make you salty. That's right? true. It brings you down. Yeah, dude. It's so it ruins true. Your, it ruins, ruins your it's mojo. It's so true, dude. Because everyone wake, is so salty right now. I wake up in the oh. morning. I rub my whole body in abundance oil, baby. I, 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 I'm, yeah. I'm, I'm, I'm ready to accept. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. So that's the thing. Stay positive. Love what you do. And I promise you, good things will come back to you and you'll be successful. Whatever business it is, real estate, mortgage, <laughs> whatever it is, you'll be good. Yeah. Well, talk to, talk to me about your decision brokerage wise. Is there, what is it about Keller Williams? Cause like, you know, it, it, Keller Williams has had like this, I think it had popularity and the, you know, I, I know you God, how many places did you talk to? I can't, you probably talked to what, like 20 places. You know, I, I, I honestly didn't know my worth yeah. um, to be honest with you. I didn't know that there was, People would, would want me to, I, I don't know, you know, I'm just, I'm, 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 my, I'm trained just to go to work and sell houses. I don't, mm. I don't look at other shit. So when I first went to the first interview, I inter I'm, I'm interviewing now. Hey, you. Teresa, Teresa is very positive, spiritual. She's a more politically correct person than we are. Sorry for the cursing, Teresa. Yeah, I apologize. <laughs> they, just, they just fly out of my mouth sometimes. You know what I mean? Listen, I feel like the curse words, it's not that we're trying to be ignorant. It's just there's no other way to be that expressive, right? Right. And that's this is me. <laughs> Honestly, look, this is who I am. I yeah. mean, I I try to be as professional as I can, but look, I can't help the, you know, the, the, the F words and shit like that. There you go. That's right, Chris. It's my boy, Chris. Dude, let me tell you, I started following Chris. Chris, your Key West stuff, man. Do you know him personally? I know him personally. Absolutely. I want to. Was he from Philly? Absolutely. Yeah. It's. Dude. it's yeah, they they were Carl Banker Harside, um, Kirk Gasper. Uh, his mom is there. I mean, it's they're great. Dude, his Key West stuff is awesome. I, I I forget the name of his website, but it's like Key West is calling. That's it. It's keywestiscalling.com. I, I swear to God, every day that I want to start to daydream, I'll just look at the stuff he puts. <laughs> Chris, Chris is a great Chris is a great man, dude. He's a great, yeah, great yeah, 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 yeah. So go ahead. So you didn't realize your worth, right? You know, I, I had, I interviewed a few places and, mm -hmm. you know, and when I went there, I felt like, holy shit, like we're in a conference room. They got my, my face on a, on a TV, uh, you know, and then like with, with the brand on it and shit, I'm like, what the fuck is going on right now? Yeah. Like, what, like what's happening? And they're like, look, you know, come with us and we're going to do this and we'll give you this and we'll do that. And, 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 and give me offer letters and shit. I'm just like, this is actually really cool. Like this yeah. is actually like, I start to feel like I'm starting to, like my head starting to, you know, I couldn't walk through the door after I walked what, out of that. What, what were you looking for? I'm just curious. Did you know what you were looking for? A home. Yeah. What does I, that mean? What does that mean? What does that mean? I, I had a home. And so yeah. I don't like, I'm not a guy that likes change. I don't, yeah. I'm, if I'm with you, uh -huh. I'm with you. I don't, I don't care. I got approached by a lot of people while I was with Joe. Yeah. I don't give a shit about that. Yeah. Yeah, if I'm with you, I'm with you. That's yeah. the end of the story. I do not like change. I don't like to go other places. I don't. I don't feel like moving. So yeah. now I'm, I'm. I'm out there. And if I, I'm moving, and I just wanted to find a place that I can just continue to do my business. So basically, for lack of a better term, get comfortable enough that you're not distracted anymore by the BS. You just want to get back to work. That's it. I, I just yeah. want a home where I don't have to yeah. worry about shit. No one's yeah. helping my business. I, I just want to go to work, man. And just, and yeah. just enjoy what I do. And that's it. I don't want. So I mean, did you even really care about the other bullshit? Like, let's be honest. Sorry, Keller Williams. I, I'm not no, like, like the lunch and learns and the down money and the this and the that and the blah, 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 blah. None of that meant anything to you. Did it? No, no. Yeah. Yeah. I got it. I dig it. Yeah. I got it. I dig it. Yeah. yeah. It, 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 that's my boy, Chad. My what boy. up, homie? You know, yeah. I, I, I look, I, we, you know, me and my brother, we went to a few different places and, mm -hmm. you know, we made up our mind. Finally. Are you guys like Mario and Luigi, by the way? I don't know why I thought of that. I just now came into my <laughs> head. You know what's funny? My brother actually had a deli in Margate called Mario and Luigi's. <laughs> That's the funny shit. Finding home is clutch. 
And for Ken Prowse, Ken, let's be honest, bro. The you're looking to buy a house, call Ken Prowse. <laughs> exactly. And Ken, let's be honest, man. Food does matter to you a little bit. I Absolutely. think it was the food. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> Are you doing bold training? <laughs> Oh my God, dude. No, but like, like I gotta be, let's be totally honest. Right. Like none of that shit mattered to you, dude. Like, you, like whatever, like what matter? what made you go there? Was it the broker? Like what, what made you go there? Well, I did like the fact that one is, in who is that broker? What's his name? I forget. Who's the Eric Green is oh, the broker. There is uh my goodness. Jeez. All right. It doesn't even matter. Who's the operating guy? What do they call Eric, it? Eric Green is who Eric I met. Okay. Like, he's, he's a great gentleman. He's from my old neighborhood actually. Okay. From the one nine one one five, he's a good dude. Yeah, um, you know, and he he just he 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 knew what I was looking for, uh, and uh, he put it on paper. Mm. It made sense to me, and it made sense to my brother, and I felt like that was a good fit for us. Not, but let me just tell you this: whoever else I met with, they were amazing. They were yeah. not. They, there was not. I didn't pick them because because I, I don't. I probably would have went to all of them because right. that's good. they were just all amazing. And they all had a lot to offer. Right. And I appreciate, I believe me, I appreciate all that. I'm, I'm very humble that they, the, you know, the pr presentation that they gave me, mm. but it came down to like, you know, Doylestown, and then they were connected to new hope, but it can open up more doors. It could open up a lot more things. And it was a pretty sweet deal, you know? Yeah. So, you know, it's, it's, it's given me a chance to grow there. So mm. that's my hood too. Yep. <laughs> Plus, it's <been> grand, baby. <laughs> so it gave me, it's, it's, I hope it gives me a chance to grow and I think it will. And, and, um, so that's interesting. New markets for you, I guess, right? That allow you to. Yeah, you know, I want to hit. Yeah. I want to hit the market. I want to step on anybody's toes. I'm going to yeah. try. I'm not going to. I'm not going to stop doing what I'm doing where I'm at. Mm. Right. That's not what I'm going to stop doing. But you know, I'm doing a little bit more business in Doylestown right now. So maybe I'll just enter in a little bit here and there. All right. So, dude, like seriously, you're out showing homes. What? 14 hours a day? No lie. Yeah, I mean, it can get that point to that point. So how many miles are you throwing on the car, bro? Dude, I bought a brand new, I have two cars. So I have yeah. my brand new Silverado uh -huh. that I bought. Um, thank you. Thank you, Chad. I bought that last July mm -hmm. and I have 15,000 <laughs> 15, miles. So I put 15,000 miles in that on top of my other car that I bought March of 2022. That car only has 6,200 miles on. I won't drive that car. Oh, wow. That's actually less miles than I thought you were going to say. I won't drive that car. I, yeah. I just, I don't want to. So me and Joe have that same car and Joe put 19 different rims and tires on the car because he blew every one of them out. <laughs> tire. So I'm like, you know what? It happened to me twice. I'm done. So how do you fuel yourself, bro? Like, how do you like, like that, that you're, are you eating a certain way? You working out? Like, what do you keep, like, what keeps yourself going, bro? No. And that's the other problem. I need yeah. to start working out. Yeah. Yeah, I, I gotta, I gotta start. That's definitely clutching. <laughs> Thank you, Mark. <laughs> Listen, this was the other alternative, Mark. So it was either this or that. Okay. <laughs> Not all of us are beautiful and bald, my friend. <laughs> I know. I'm tan. I gotta, you know, he. I gotta catch up to him on the tanning. I'm losing he's looking my good. By the way, he's talk about a guy getting in shape, man. He's dropping those pounds like it's hot, like it's nothing. Dude, that's that's, and that's key. let me tell you something. That helps you focus. <laughs> Put that bitch back on. <laughs> Jesus. Oh my god. That helps you focus. I'll be honest yeah. with you. If I should wake up, like my wife wakes up every morning at six o'clock. She's on the, the, the treadmill or, or, or the bike or whatever the case. I should be right next to her. And I'm not. Yeah. I'm sitting in bed staring at my phone, hoping that you know. More shit's happening. Yeah. It's, it's, I, listen, I live, honestly, very unhealthy. And it's not, yeah. it's it's something that I need to change 100%. That's the hardest part, right, dude? It's like you're when you're hitting that wheel, it's like, it, it, what's the balance? Like, and, and how long can you keep going like this? You, you know can't. I mean? I mean, look, yeah. last year, I think I have the record. See, I like when I go to the, to the ER. It's yeah. like going on vacation. <laughs> it's like doing a checkup, a tune-up. <laughs> listen, I tell the doctors what to do when I'm in the ER. No bullshit. Yeah. Okay, when I'm in that ER, I'm there yeah. for seven hours. I'm like, listen, I'm in here for seven hours. You better CAT scan, MRI. I don't give a shit what you're going to do. Yeah. I want I want the tune up. So when you tell me I'm good, I'm good for another six months. Boom. Yeah, you got you got to get a banana bag in your veins, right? You got to get the yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd listen, bro. I'm right. It's crazy, man. It's 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 great. Look, get rich or die trying. You're like fifty cents golden. Yeah, shot. I'm right. <laughs> I'm right. <laughs> 
Well, I love it, dude. I, I I think you and I could probably keep going, but this was fun. I I have to go live with you, by the way. I uh, oh, we love the Detico. We love you back, Marky Mark, <laughs> my boy. I um, you know, I always like to do these lives for a couple reasons. Number one, if I let Jay edit it, it might take a little time. Sorry, Jay, I don't mean to bust your chops. He, <laughs> he's a perfectionist with those edits, yep. that guy. Um, but you know, also, you I feel like it, it catches you. It catches you off the cuff and. This is how I am, dude. Like, this is if you met me in person, this is it's the same thing, you know what I mean? Like, I feel like you and I treat social media the same way, you know what I mean? Absolutely, listen, and, yeah. and it's good. And, and that's the, the listen, having a good personality, having a good social, you can be social with people. That's all comes down to your business as well, yeah, dude. A hundred percent. And that's the thing, it's like no matter what, don't whoever you are out there, and you're going to create this is what I like about you, dude. You're authentic as hell, right. That's what I like about you, no matter like, and and that is what I think draws people to you. I mean, it really does. Uh, I I think that you can be good at what you do and still not have to like get rid of who you are, and that's the important thing, dude. dude. Listen, yeah. that's listen. I'm no that one thing. I'm not as a phony baloney. Like, yeah, yeah. I'll I'll post business, but I'll post. I'm listening to Mob Deep going to the goddamn show, and because yeah. that's who, that's if you wake up if you wake up with me in the morning, you'll hear. All kinds of crazy music playlists. That's just who I am. I just yeah. that's the I'm not I'm not going to be fake on Facebook and, or be one person on Facebook and somebody else off of Facebook. Yeah, you know, it's not it's not what it is. I'm that's me. I dig it, man. No, I did, listen. I've always you and I have always been. Uh, we haven't hung out that much, but I feel like we've always supported one another, and I, and I dig that about you, dude. I I got nothing but but you know positive things to say about you. I think you guys are going to continue to light shit on fire. I think that. Um, you know, anyone that's able to learn from you is going to learn from a true professional and someone that's good at what they do. And I wish you guys continued success. Emilio, I'm going to call you out again, dude. Like, <laughs> what the hell, bro? Like, he could, listen, <laughs> he could have easily, what Chris say, this is great. You guys are making money. Regulators, Warren G. <laughs> the Flyers are not playing tonight. They suck. What are we building, <laughs> shall I say? Let's not even go there, dude. I feel like they need more of our shows instead of that crap. Yeah. <laughs> No, listen. No, yeah. I, I hear you, man. I, I, I listen. Again, I'm, I'm not. I want to make sure everybody understands. I'm not trying to be a. I'm not better than anybody else. I saw it further. She goes, "Damn, that must have been a long time ago." I saw that car. <laughs> I, listen, I'm, not, I'm not better than anybody else. I, I just like what I do, and I just, you know, I'm trying to just create business and create. Yeah, something. but you know what? I think everyone wants you to be the asshole. That's the problem. I don't want to be. No, 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 I no. I didn't be. say that's not what I, I said. No, hold on. That's not what I said. Right. What I it's not I didn't say that you can or, or I think people want you to be the asshole. They do. I don't think you are the asshole. <laughs> I think they want you to be the asshole. And the if reason I listen, is, yeah. if I hear must be yeah. nice one more time. Yeah. <laughs> it must be nice because I work fucking 14 hours a day. Yeah. Know? I mean, yeah. dude, at the end of the day, you know, forget all the rest of the crap. You can't deny the hustle, man. You, you just can't. You can't knock the hustle. And we're all, we all hustle for the, the same reason. We love this shit, dude. It. It's a high, man. It really it, is. We love it. We like the business. Yep, it's social. It. It's finance. It's real estate. And and you know what? If, if you don't like that part of it, I'm not like, you can do whatever you want. But you know, at the same time, like. My boy, that's my cousin Joe right there. Yeah. How does it, I love the Italian names. Corsanico. Cor Corsanico. Corsanico. No, that's not Corsanico. 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 That's I, my mom's sister's son. So he's my first cousin. Listen, the Italian names, dude, you can get a little tongue twister going listen, on. You forgot about Uncle Mario. You didn't even mention Uncle Mario. Remember from before? Uncle oh, Mario's yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Kicking, <laughs> he, he will still kick somebody's ass today. Trust me. You don't fuck around, Uncle Mario. Listen, I want to check in with you more, bro. So uh, listen, let's, let's, uh, let's, let's check back in every now and then. I want to see how you guys are doing as a team. Uh, I always love giving you guys play and tell Emilio uh, to, to wake the fuck up next time. All right. <laughs> <laughs> let's, uh, let's go to the next event. I hope you're going to be there. I think it's Wednesday or next Wednesday uh, in Newtown, right? Is it, What's, that? Going? What's that? It's the event at the, um, the Indian what? restaurant. Oh, no, he doesn't invite me to those. I'm not an agent. Shh. <laughs> <laughs> I'm not. A, I'm not allowed to go. I'm not allowed to go. Ken, oh Ken's God. guest bartending. Yeah, go. We'll we'll give it play now. What is that? Co-op cocktail hour? Is that what it is? Here it is Guru. 
Guru in the, by the way, Guru. Have you eaten at Guru by the way? I have I not. To, no, I have not been there. Are you an Indian fan, bro? You know, I gotta watch with the, the spicy. That's all I gotta watch is the spicy. Uh, I'm gonna tell you, man, the lamb biryani. Hooey. I never got into it, but Volcan took me there. And really? and Mike Patel was at the bar. I walk in and it's like 12 o'clock. Mike's at Mike, the bar listen, hanging out. Big shout out to Mike Patel. Mike Patel is a, he's, he's my boy. I love Mikey. He's awesome. No, but he's in there hanging out. We go into the back. And uh, no, I was I didn't go last time. It wasn't the co- it wasn't the co-op thing. It was something else. I didn't go last time. I don't know. Maybe you went Mark- last time. Listen, it, I'm going to tell everyone this is this is the secret. I'm just going to treat this like it's triple play, right? I'm going to wear a badge that says I'm an agent on it, so I can get some trades. <laughs> That's right. That's what you got to do. Yeah, I, well, that's the only way you get free stuff at triple play. Guarantee rate, man. I almost got spotted at that party. Um, <laughs> <laughs> all right man we are we are gonna call it a night everyone out there thank you guys thank you everyone for participating man anthony i don't yeah. think i've had this level of interaction man i love it man i listen i would love to do this you know more often it's just i, I love interacting with everybody it's yeah great. you're you're breaking the dude, you, you know what at the end of the day how can you not love anthony the chico guys listen, how I can love you him. not love anthony DeChico? i love you guys back believe me when yeah. i tell you i'm here i'm here for yeah, we are all rooting for you 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 and luigi we are rooting for you <laughs> <laughs> all right facebook world it is another edition of and by the way that's the other thing we don't do another jason jason come on the screen for a second come on the screen Come on the screen uh, man. I, I, yo, i've been thoroughly entertained i ain't even gonna front so nice. regardless of but, you know, this, listen, this is- yeah, but listen to me. Listen to me. Part of the problem, too, is no one knows my brand for this show. Okay. It's supposed to be so I own resuperstars.com, Anthony. Okay. Really? I wanted to create a platform that it's going to have a blog and it's going to have the podcast and we're going to be creating content for all kinds of agents. That's like awesome. all kinds. That's what I want to do. But this guy has got 25 logos up there. Jesus. What do you want from you? You don't want to keep changing them, right? You, look, this guy, look, if I show you his rendition of logos in the past year and a half, bro, you'd be like, yo. Oh, oh, like, my I love God. your logo. It's nice and sleek, too, just to, just to let you know. But this guy, this guy has me churning and burning. He'd be like, yo, man, I love the logo. I change it. <laughs> So then I gotta go back and change every rendition of every logo we've ever created. But yeah, I, I've had you do a couple renditions. I ain't gonna lie, but but I am gonna put you up to this next time. It's resuperstars.com. Listen, can we shoot a, maybe we could shoot a a, a new promo, movie right. and then we could do it, and then I could take care of all that and do new logos because I, I you know I don't want to just plop. I don't, you, you, you said it best. Like I, I take time because I'm a perfectionist. I do not like to, to regurgitate stuff, and I want stuff to be new. All so. right. So you are watching another edition of the RE Superstars podcast with the one and only Anthony DeChico. Everyone have a wonderful evening. And Yes, sir. Keep kicking ass, my brother. I appreciate it. Thank you, guys. Thank you. Peace. See you. Peace.